Hello, hello, Amanda in Essex here. I hope you're well. Welcome back. Um, we are moving into Fly Lady Zone 3 this week, which is the bathroom and any other room. So I'm filming in my spare bedroom today and I am bringing you, because we're back in the bathroom zone, another empties video. So I have tons because I've really been focusing on using up what I have and getting ready for Christmas because all of the new products that are going to be coming in um, over Christmas. So I'm just going to get right into it because I have loads. I'm going to start here with candles. This is Yankee Candle Home Inspiration White Linen and Lace. This was a packet of 12 little tea light candles and I've just saved one to show you. Um, in my last empties video, I was a little bit critical of Yankee Candle. I didn't particularly like the jasmine scented candle that I had used before, but this one I really, really liked the, um, the linen and lace. So just try your hand and see what you end up liking because just because you don't like one fragrance from a brand doesn't mean you should discount it entirely. Uh, I did really like this Yankee Candle. The next one is the Body Shop. This is the Japanese Camellia Cream. It's from the Relaxing Ritual range. The um, texture was really, really velvety. You can see here, used every drop of it. The texture was really velvety. I really liked it. It absorbed well. It had enough oil in it that your skin felt moisturized but not greasy. I really liked it. I don't know that I'm crazy about this Japanese Camellia scent. I would definitely buy this product again, but probably not in this fragrance. Next, I have Bayless and Harding Hand Wash. This is the Espresso Martini from the Fuzzy Duck range. Um, it says, nestled in the heart of the Cotswolds, England, the Fuzzy Duck is a boutique end and a place to feel comfortable, pampered, and inspired. This I got because it was on sale. It was £1.50 and normally these Bayless and Harding are £3. I've used them in every single fragrance and I tend to like them. They tend to be what I buy. This bottle is a bit of a dupe for Molten Brown so you get that kind of boutique feel with it. These fragrances from the Fuzzy Duck range, which were cheaper than the normal ones because they were on sale, are better. I really like these fragrances. I've used a Cosmopolitan one. I've used this Espresso Martini one. It doesn't smell necessarily like coffee or an Espresso Martini. It just smells sweet and nice. I really enjoyed these. I would definitely recommend this, particularly if you find them on sale. I found them on sale at Tesco. <clears throat> Next, this is something I used for my kids. This is Child's Farm Sensitive Skin Baby Wash. This is actually the unscented version. So I'm just gonna pull the curtain too. The sun's, oh, now we have hardly any light. Sorry, the sun is just coming through this window. This is um, a baby wash. I've been using it really for years since I had the kids. It always works really well. Child's Farm is great. My husband has eczema, so he can use this too. The kids have a little bit sensitive skin and it works great for them. Another Dove. I've always got a Dove in here because I'm always using Dove. I buy it again and again and again. This is the Nourishing Care and Oil version. And I particularly like these versions that have oil in them because you don't have to use a ton of moisturizer when you get out of the shower. Your skin doesn't feel tight. It feels really nice. I definitely will buy this one again. <clears throat> Another Body Shop product. This is the Vitamin C not sure how well you can see that the vitamin C microdermabrasion product I love this whole range this is my first time to buy this vitamin C range from the body shop in fact it was my first time to buy skincare from the body shop and I love this range um, this little tube costs 18 pounds so it's not cheap but um, I definitely love this vitamin C range this is the second product that I've used from it I also have the peeling mask which is fantastic I would recommend that to anyone it gives you a real any vitamin c product will give you a real glow afterwards but i like this body shop one <clears throat> next la maison de centres fleurs de, de mimosa bath cream 
This is from Marks and Spencer's. This is a bath cream that smells of mimosa flowers. It was beautiful. I love this bath cream. I would definitely buy from this range again. It's Marks and Spencer's. It's not hugely expensive. I have um, an eau de toilette from them as well, which I think was about, I don't know, 10 pounds. I got this bath foam in a little set that I think was 15 pounds um, for the full set, which was like a body wash, a bath foam, and something else. But um, I do like these products and I would buy them again. Heathcote and Ivory Sweet Pea and Honeysuckle Hand and Nail Cream. I do have a lot of things because I am trying to use stuff up. This I would probably not buy again. The smell was great, but I did not like the formulation at all. It was quite watery. It felt like it didn't have enough oil in it to really make your hands feel nourished. And I had to reapply it all the time. I would skip that one if I read it. Fathom Bath Cologne from And Other Stories. I love this. I got it on sale for 70% off. It normally costs 18 quid. I don't know that I would spend 18 quid on it, but I got it for about seven pounds and I bought three of them and I absolutely love it. You just pour it into your bath water and it scents you and your surroundings and it smells fantastic. I use it on the children and the scent lasts a really long time. That is a really good present for someone if you don't know what to get them. Um, the bath cologne from and other stories really like that this one bedhead tiggy joyride this is one of the samples that i found around my house when i did my 27 fling boogie and created that lucky dip pamper hamper for myself this is one of the products that i got out of it and i loved it so much using this sample i actually bought the full size of it as well um, this is really good however I don't know if it's being produced anymore. I, it was actually quite difficult to find it. I've used it on my hair today, by the way, so you can have a look uh, at the texture, but it was actually quite difficult to find it. I ended up finding it on eBay um, and I read a, up a little bit about the product and it was sort of the hair care launch of the year in 2015. So you may not find this readily available everywhere. I think in the US you can definitely get it, but I would recommend that. See, that's the beauty of using up stuff around your house. You actually find stuff that you like. This is The Ordinary Colors. It's a serum foundation. I'm just, sorry, I'm just trying to get it that where you can see it. The Ordinary Colors. It's a serum foundation. I love the ordinary products generally, but I detest the formulation of this product. It is so thin and watery. It squirts all over the place and makes a huge mess. I think they have two different formulations and this is the lighter one, but I would definitely not recommend this product. It's a good price point. It's like seven pounds for a foundation, which is great. And it lasts a long time and it actually goes on pretty well, but just for the sheer mess, like if you're a fly lady, you don't have time to be dealing with these messes. Here's a bit of medicine. This is Arnie Care. Um, this is an Arnica cream. So, you know, I have little kids. I have my dear daughter who's four and my dear daughter who's one and a half. They're toddler age and they're definitely getting bumps and bruises all the time. This is a great cream for bruises. It really helps a bruise heal up like twice as fast as it normally would. I definitely, I don't know that you need this brand per se. This is Nelson's, but I definitely would recommend an Arnica cream to anybody. Next, Max Factor Face Finity All Day Primer. This has SPF in it, SPF 20, and it's a primer. You put it under your foundation, under your makeup. I really, really like this product. It extends the life of your foundation. You don't have to reapply halfway through the day, and it goes on really nicely, and it has SPF. There's really not much more you could ask for in a primer. I would definitely buy this again. Diptyque Pomade Exfoliant. Now, Diptyque is an amazing French Parisian beauty brand, not necessarily beauty brand, more of a fragrance brand. They're most famous for candles and perfume. This was their body pomade, which is like a body scrub. I cannot recommend this. It, I did not like the texture. It was a jelly-like texture, 
and the um, scrubbing granules in it are black. So after you use it, you have a black streak down your path and it's just more trouble than it's worth, to be honest. There are better body scrubs for cheaper. And the fact that this is a fragrance house, you would think that it would smell terrific, but I didn't even like the fragrance that much. So I definitely would not recommend this um, pomade exfoliant pour le corps, the smoothing body polish from Diptyque. I would not recommend that. Other Diptyque products I love. The candles are amazing. The perfume is great. Um, even the body lotion and things like that are really, really good. This one is just not. I have three more things to show you. Toothpaste, Colgate Max White. I really love this toothpaste. Um, it has like little, um, not quite gritty, but it has like a little bit of texture in it, which really helps scrub your teeth and it makes them look very white. And since I've run out of this, I've noticed that my teeth do not look as white as they did when I was using it. So I would definitely buy this product again. I always look for it on sale, of course, but I would definitely buy this again. Two more things left. Sayate London. This is called Base Balance Nail Toner. It's horrible. Do not waste your money on this. Half of it leaked into my drawer. It smells bad and I don't really know what it's good for. Um, I think I got it as part of a kit or a set. Don't seek this out if you don't need it. And finally, last but not least, Molten Brown Liang Liang, you can see that's used up there. Liang Liang Nourishing Body Lotion. It smells fantastic. I love anything scented Liang Liang. It's got a real good dose of fragrance, so it has performance. It does stay with you. Um, it has the right amount of oil in it, so your skin feels nourished but not greasy. Good product. Molten Brown. If you're thinking of some, getting somebody something for Christmas, they do really nice um, hand soap and hand lotion sets that you can sit by the basin, um, that are really pretty. So that's that. And I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 product empties. I have really been working on using stuff up and, you know, decluttering some beauty products and clearing some space. So I'm really happy that I can put all of those in the recycling now. I'm pleased that I found a Yankee Candle that I liked because so many people like Yankee Candle and it, I just thought it wasn't for me. Um, yeah, so really happy with that uh, set of empties. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments and I'll answer whatever I can. I'm not a beauty blogger. I'm just showing you, you know, what I use in my house and what I like and don't like. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Toodle pip.